in an extraordinary revelation that has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and captivated the imagination of space enthusiasts worldwide. Voyager 1, the iconic interstellar probe, has just unveiled a breathtaking find. After a journey of over four decades, this intrepid explorer has stumbled upon a celestial phenomenon unlike anything witnessed before. With a resounding announcement, Voyager 1 has detected the presence of not one, not ten, but a staggering count of 300 enigmatic objects gracefully passing by in the infinite expanse of the cosmos. Imagine the sheer magnitude of this discovery the inspiring notion that our humble emissary from Earth has stumbled upon a veritable cosmic parade of unknown entities. These objects, shrouded in mystery, have sparked a fervor of speculation and scientific wonderment inviting us to reevaluate our understanding of the universe. With each passing moment, our hunger for knowledge intensifies, beckoning us to uncover the secrets that lie within the heart of these perplexing visitors from the unknown. As Voyager 1 continues to traverse the vast reaches of space, faithfully transmitting its findings back to Earth, the data collected will serve as a treasure trove of insights igniting the curiosity of astronomers, physicists, and dreamers alike. Questions abound. Who or what are these enigmatic beings journeying silently through the void? Are they remnants of ancient civilizations, long lost in the annals of time? Or could they represent an entirely novel form of celestial phenomenon, challenging the boundaries of our current knowledge? The implications of this discovery are profound, as it invites us to contemplate our place in the universe and the myriad possibilities that lie beyond our grasp. With Voyager 1 at the forefront of this cosmic revelation, humanity is once again reminded of our insatiable thirst for exploration, the unyielding pursuit of knowledge that drives us to push the boundaries of what is known and venture into the realms of the extraordinary. Join us as we embark on this exhilarating journey, delving into the uncharted territory of these celestial marvels. Together, let us unravel the enigma of Voyager 1's extraordinary encounter, casting aside the constraints of the familiar and embracing the boundless wonders that await us amidst the stars. The Voyager 1 has been traveling through space for more than 40 years and during that time it has gone above and beyond its initial mission. The spacecraft was only expected to survive for five years, but it has proven all predictions wrong. But now it has gone a step further, Voyager 1 just detected unknown objects passing through space. While for the past few years we've mainly just looked at data from inside the solar system thanks to the Voyager 1, we now have access to data from outside too. In August 2012, the Voyager officially reached the edge of the galaxy. A simple task in the least. The spacecraft's power is primarily produced by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators RDGs which convert the heat produced by the natural decay of plutonium-238 into electricity over time. The declining heat output of the RDGs has resulted in a decline in available power. This reduction in power affects the spacecraft's instruments and systems. As the power continues to decline, critical systems may need to be further optimized or shut down to extend Voyager 1's operational lifespan because as it is, it won't be able to operate for very much longer. And even if it does, it might not end up being of much use to us because the vast distances between us and the sun mean that even if it does, it might not end up being of much use to us. As the spacecraft entered interstellar space, there was a significant challenge in maintaining effective communication. The signal from Voyager 1 weakened significantly as it currently takes over 21 hours for signals to travel from Earth to Voyager 1. The weak signal combined with background noise interference poses a significant barrier to successful data transmission and reception. 
As the spacecraft traveled into interstellar space, it encountered extremely low temperatures. These temperature extremes can have an impact on the spacecraft's materials, electronic components, and systems. They can also cause thermal stress and affect the structural integrity of certain paths. Extreme cold can make materials brittle, potentially resulting in fractures or dagger. The cooling of the REGS reduces the power output, exacerbating the power challenges we discussed earlier. This problem gets worse because you see, interstellar space isn't entirely empty. It contains a sparse distribution of dust particles. While these particles are tiny in size, they can endanger the Voyager 1 spacecraft when the spacecraft encounters them. The accumulation of dust on the instrument's optics or sensors can interfere with their functionality, degrading data quality. Voyager 1 carries a dust detector instrument specifically designed to measure the density of interstellar dust. But it's not just that. The Deep Space Network NASA's Global System of Antennas for Communication uses antennas on the spacecraft's exterior surfaces, which over time can cause wear and tear on the protective coatings, antenna surfaces, or other sensitive areas. Communication opportunities are much more rare than they've ever been because missions must devote limited resources to receiving Voyager 1 signals. The ongoing loss of signal strength further complicates data retrieval and reliable command transmission. But even then, each piece of information must be carefully analyzed, no matter how absurd it may sound. Recently, though, a fascinating discovery emerged from the stream of data. Voyager 1 detected an it. These mysterious objects emerging from the depths of interstellar space had scientists all over the world extremely perplexed because the discovery of these 300 unidentified objects challenges our understanding of the cosmos. Are they the remains of ancient celestial bodies, drifting remnants from distant star systems, or do they indicate the existence of there were many questions? But since the data was scrambled, there weren't any real answers. However, things got even stranger because despite the strangeness of the transmitted data, Voyager 1 itself appeared to be unharmed and was still in remarkable condition. The great thing was that its communication link with Earth remained intact and the signal that retained its strength. It was clear that the Voyager wasn't actually under attack because none of the spacecraft's fault protection systems were activated indicating that it hadn't even entered a protective safe mode, which is the usual course of action if it detects any threats. However, what could have caused the telemetry data to appear scrambled or inaccurate? Was it due to interference from external cosmic phenomena like radiation or high energy particles? The research team at NASA carefully examined the spacecraft systems taking into account the impact of cosmic radiation on electronic components and the possibility of temperature fluctuations affecting the stability of its sensitive instruments. If the last one was the case, it would challenge our understanding of space and communication in the interstellar realm. However, the only way to know for sure was to meticulously analyze a vast array of potential factors. The data scrambling was caused by Heliosphere 2 and the natural obstacles that were in the way. But the problem was that it wasn't really in the region where the obstacles were concentrated enough to even pose a threat. So it couldn't be that. To find an explanation, the team also closely examined Voyager 1's communication systems, looking into possible signal distortions caused by cosmic noise interference or even subtle shifts in its trajectory. While this just sounds like a bunch of things to check off a list, there's a lot that actually goes into it. So all of this wasn't exactly instant. The research went on for weeks. The team used advanced data processing techniques to carefully examine the spacecraft's systems taking into account the impact of cosmic radiation on electronic components 
and the possibility of temperature fluctuations affecting the stability of its sensitive instruments. After receiving scrambled data from the spacecraft for months, scientists and engineers have finally restored the clarity and reliability of the information streaming in from the far reaches of interstellar space. The root cause of the problem was traced back to the simulation of various scenarios to isolate the root cause of the unusual telemetry anomalies at that point. This was the only way they could figure out what might be causing the issues. Specifically, an unexpected source of dormant on board computer had started using the AACS Attitude and Articulation Control Subsystem. You might be wondering how something that's not even supposed to be functional had started using the AACS. Well, NASA officials revealed that the AACS had somehow started using a computer despite the fact that it had been non-functional for years, leading to the corruption of the transmitted data. The rest of the spacecraft, however, remained operational and continued its data collection activities and hindered Upon discovering the source of the problem, despite being a very low-risk remedy, it needed a lot of patience due to the considerable time delay brought on by the sheer distance between Earth and Voyager 1. They did this by sending a command to Voyager 1, ordering the AACS system to transfer to the proper computer for transmitting the telemetry data. The Voyager 1 was built decades ago, and up until this point, it had been operating just fine. So, to even start troubleshooting, they needed to go through several manuals from the 1970s. After careful examination, they discovered a simple and low-risk solution to the problem by resetting the faulty command. Engineers believe that Voyager 1's deviation into using the non-operational computer was caused by a faulty command that was sent from the spacecraft's operational computer. Their expertise and dedication played a crucial role in successfully restoring the clarity of Voyager 1's communication stream. The engineers' work demonstrated the importance of leveraging previous knowledge and combining it with current technology to overcome challenges in space exploration. Mission managers are cautiously optimistic, stressing that the incident doesn't actually pose a significant threat to Voyager 1's long-term well-being. In fact, the Voyager brushed the error off and continued with its mission as soon as the correct computers were back online. And with that, it made history by successfully reaching the heliopause, or heliopau, despite the concern. The region where the sun's solar wind meets the interstellar medium and marks the edge of the heliosphere, which is affected by the sun's magnetic field and energetic particles. The heliopause is situated at a significant distance from our star, measuring approximately 123 astronomical units, or a staggering 11 billion miles. To say the least, the heliopause is unusual because its shape is subject to fluctuations that are influenced by the ionosphere. As the sun moves through space, it forms a magnetic bubble or foam within this boundary that shapes the heliosphere's outermost region. This magnetic foam contributes to the complex structure and behavior of the heliopause. When Voyager 1 and subsequent spacecraft crossed the heliopause, several things happened. First of all, there was a noticeable drop in the temperature of the solar wind charged particles which occurs as the spacecraft moves beyond the influence of the sun. Additionally, there was a change in the direction of the magnetic field, reflecting the altered influence of interstellar magnetic forces. There was also a significant increase in the presence of galactic cosmic rays, high energy particles from distant cosmic sources that became more prominent beyond the heliopause but started to appear right before it. Despite not even being built to get that far, Voyager just went full speed ahead anyway. In November 2018, Voyager 2 followed in the footsteps of its predecessor by crossing the heliopause and advancing into interstellar space. 
This historic achievement marked a new chapter in our understanding of the boundary between the heliosphere and deep space, giving humanity its first glimpse into the unexplored regions beyond the heliopause the boundary marking the edge of the heliosphere. As Voyager 2 traveled beyond the heliopause, it made fascinating discoveries that deepened our understanding of this unexplored region. One noteworthy observation was the sharp decrease in the intensity of low-energy ions, which is a direct result of leaving the influence of the heliopause. This gave scientists a unique opportunity to compare and contrast the observations made by both spacecraft. In contrast to Voyager 1, which encountered precursor events prior to its exit from the heliosphere. Voyager 2 encountered a different scenario and revealed the presence of a distinct boundary layer just beyond the heliopause. In this boundary layer, low energy particles streamed outward along the boundary. Voyager 2 also detected a simultaneous increase in the intensity of cosmic rays high energy particles coming from distant cosmic sources. This unexpected discovery highlighted the complexity of the interstellar boundary and how it might not be easy to predict. After all, if two seemingly identical spacecraft had completely different experiences, it would not be easy to predict how things would be for other spacecraft passing through the same area. Is NASA really willing to spend billions of dollars to investigate this? The Interstellar Probe is an ambitious NASA space probe concept that aims to go beyond what the Voyager spacecraft achieved. First proposed in 2018 by NASA's Applied Physics Laboratory, this groundbreaking mission envisions unraveling the mysteries of the heliosphere and gathering comprehensive information about it and beyond. Despite how powerful the heliosphere is, NASA wants to acquire all possible knowledge about it, and the interstellar probe is designed to fulfill that purpose. At the core of the interstellar probe's mission is the need to gather detailed measurements and insights into the conditions present throughout the heliosphere and the helioshi. Yes, there is a difference between the two. The heliosphere denotes the region influenced by the sun's solar wind, while the helioshi denotes the outer layer of the sun's bubble of helium. In terms of modern technology, the interstellar probe represents a significant advance in interstellar exploration. Its main goal is to lay the groundwork for ambitious future scientific and technological expeditions. This groundbreaking mission will not only push the boundaries of our current knowledge, but will also serve as a roadmap for riskier endeavors yet to come. However, do you think the interstellar probe will actually provide us with more information than we already have?